All right, there's an amazing restaurant located at 428 Preston. It's called Maddie. Maddie, simple as that. Brandon Kennedy right now is a chef at Maddie, and nice to have you here, Brandon. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Pretty good. How are you? Is it fun to be a chef? Yes. Yeah. 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 What's, what's the best part about being a chef? Uh, really, just the uh, creation process, and then. Uh, but then, my most exciting point is to, uh, you know, you kind of sneak a peek out into the restaurant and see that customer get that get that plate, just get that, that first bite, and you see the the happiness in their face. That's really that what it's all that. what it's all about. Yeah. How long has Maddie been around for at this point? Uh, we're brand new. We um, we opened December fifteenth, mm -hmm. uh, so we've been open about three months now. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. All right. What what's the best part about uh, working at a brand new location as well? Um, well, I mean, just like we started with all brand new equipment, so I mean, was, you know, everything is just uh, is ticking well, and yeah, you top know, of the line um, stuff. really just getting to meet all of our all of our staff and uh, and hiring everyone and all the you know figuring out all your customers and your clientele base is okay. that's a really nice. MattyOttawa.ca, M-A-T-I mm -hmm. is how it's spelled. Now, okay, so uh, tell us about some of the uh, main dishes that you'd have at Matty. So the concept of the restaurant, what we have is a is a live uh, charcoal grill, which a lot of restaurants don't don't touch. Uh, it's uh, uh, you know globally, it's a um, it's a great way to cook uh, cook your food. So we have a um, the main um, dishes are, is the big tomahawk steak. That's mm. you know that's one thing that we uh, feature, and we the um, hickory uh, wood that we that we use really gets that. Flavor into your into your meat, but we also do crudos. Which okay. Is just, uh, what exactly is a crudo? It's uh, so it's just raw. So it's just anything that's like it's the Italian word for for raw. Mm -hmm. So I have a I brought a uh, swordfish crudo here. Okay. Um, so we I mean the most basic way to break things down of what we of what we do is fire and ice. That's essentially what we what we do. So we have a full uh, raw raw bar with oysters and uh, seafood towers, and then, yeah. but then also we have the big you know, uh, the big tomahawk steaks okay. and your... You've said the big tomahawk steaks mm -hmm. a couple of times. Now yep. I'm wondering how big are these steaks? So it's a, it's a, it's a long bone ribeye. Yeah. Uh, and then, so you're looking at about 48 ounces. Wow. 48 ounces. And you meat. see people finishing that? Yeah. And we've even had like solo, solo diners. Uh, <laughs> crash they, just, them. they just show up and they want <laughs> yeah. that tomahawk steak? Typically steaks. it's for two, two to three, three to four people. <laughs> really? Yeah. Interesting. So you yeah. can share a good, good date dish, I guess. Yeah, if you come want on, to, honey, let's go share want to a go tomahawk there, yeah. steak. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now we were going to cook up, but I mean, there isn't really enough time even to, to cook up a full steak uh, on television here because yeah. it takes a little time, obviously, to get uh, get it just right. To do things properly. But yeah. let's go through some of the motions of what you would do. To what kind of a cut of meat is this? So I brought you a uh, Canadian prime ribeye. So this is the highest cut that you can get uh, under a wagyu beef. So what what's really going to make this steak different is the the heavy marbling. So with the heavy amount of fat that's that's in there. Okay. So obviously we I, I brought one of my own uh, cast iron pans for uh, today. But we do it on the charcoal grill. Yeah. Um, but essentially, you know, if if we were to fire this up, you want your um, you want a good mix of olive oil and uh, butter. You want your pan slightly hazing with smoke, mm -hmm. and then you want to put your steak steak down. Okay. Room. Room temperature, salted for at least 20, 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah. What is it about that cut of meat that it's it's beneficial to have all that fat in it? Really flavor. Yeah. Fat flavor. is flavor. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's edible, the fat. Like, oh yeah, yeah. It's all gonna it's all gonna melt melt yeah. out. Yeah. Wow, that sounds really good. Yeah. Okay, so you're saying that to everything cooked there then meat wise would be over the charcoal. I mean, is is everything charcoal cooked? Everything. Uh, yeah. All of our chicken, steak, um, all of our all of our fish is all cooked on that. Charcoal grill. Some yeah. of the stuff we have little secrets with sous sous eating them first, yeah, and stuff okay. like that. But that's you know, yeah. They, essentially, they're all they all hit that grill at some at some Sounds point. Sounds tasty. Yeah. What else would you do to make this a steak that just pop and it tastes great? So if we were just going to do it if do it at home, when you flip your steak over, you can add sprigs of thyme, rosemary, garlic, and then ladle it over, which I was going f going to do if we had the we had the time, and that's just going to infuse more um, more herbs in that flavor in, and then you okay. want to make, you know, um, when you're eating steak, to eat it uh, properly, you really can't go for a, for a low salt diet. You really have to hit it with hit it with lots of salt <laughs> to really, I mean, you know. You're making this sound super healthy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's not something you know. <laughs> no, I get uh, if you. You're on, if you're on a diet, but yeah. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna go there, make make sure you're really gonna you know go there the right way. Enjoy the most out of your out of your steak. Can you tell us some of the spices you brought along with you too? Uh, now, sorry, is that for the steak or is that for the swordfish? This is just for the um, swordfish. Okay. So just I would. 
finish this off. This is just a little bit of uh, grapefruit and orange orange juice. And okay. That's just going to start to even just cook the fish a little bit. But the um, the spice there is a uh, harissa blend. Mm -hmm. um, you have a little bit of um, uh, yogurt and feta that has been whipped up, and those are deep fried capers mm. and uh, some fennel fronds. And then you just hit it with a little bit of olive oil. Okay. Just like that, and then some Malden salt, which is a French finishing salt. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, so is it the, uh, sorry, the, the, not mm -hmm. the first juice you put on there. What was that called, or the first liquid? It's a mix of grapefruit and grapefruit, orange. Grapefruit, yeah. yeah. Any so citrus will, will, will... The acidity would cook it. Yeah, essentially. Okay. So when you, we just want to hit it just before it goes, goes out. Like this isn't, the uh, crudos aren't... a a dish that you can really sit on for any amount of time. Like we, we slice them to order and they're made to, to order. Okay. So you, yeah. Nice. Uh, other than that, you're kind of getting into a danger zone. Okay. Yeah. Uh, danger zone. You don't want to be in a danger zone. No, you don't, no, you don't not, at all. The restaurant. Yeah. Okay. So obviously uh, this is a brand new location. It's bringing people in. How many, how many seats are available? Uh, well, right now um, there's uh, 80, 80 seats. Uh, we'll be expanding to a, um, a patio on our uh, sidewalk, which I th think is going to hit about 30. Oh, wonderful! And then uh, in the basement, which we uh, will be coming in uh, at some at some point, we're going to put uh, like a function room, late night late night room. That'll probably add another 50. Mm -hmm. So, as one of the chefs at uh, at a restaurant like this, how often do you update the menu? I know it's brand new, but you're always creating new uh, dishes. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's stuff that you're always you're always working on. You're, and even the um, the dishes that are on the menu, you're revising them constantly just to, you know, constantly put forth that, that best plate that's going to hit that mm -hmm. customer. But with, uh, but with Maddie, we want to move seasonally with, uh, you know, local produce, local uh, meats, vegetables and stuff. So, we, you know, as we come into spring, we'll be keeping the, uh, you know, the big tomahawk steaks and yeah. those staples, why people come into the restaurant. But a few of the appetizers and a few of the mains will be moving into lighter yeah. dishes. Year round, I think a tomahawk steak is in order for just about anybody. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> and we can't believe, I never thought we would sell as many as we, as we do sell. It's a very popular item. All right, 428 Preston Street, uh, Maddie Restaurant. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Good times as always, and we've got more daytime coming up.